Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be visiting two historical places in Spain, El Monasterio de Leire and El Castillo de Javier. So let's begin. El Monasterio San Salvador de Leire, which translates to Monastery of San Salvador of Leire, is located in Navarra, Spain. To be more specific, it is located in Leire, hence its name, in the municipality of Jesa. Located roughly about half an hour from Navarra's capital of Pamplona, you have this beautiful early medieval monastic ensemble. Not only is this monastery extremely important in Spain's history due to its play in the reconquest of Al-Andalus and its age, which dates all the way back to the 9th century, making it over a thousand years old, but it's also perfectly preserved, and it is home to Benedictine monks. With an impressive exterior in which you can appreciate the peaceful surroundings, and see all of its different buildings come together into one with its gorgeous Romanesque architecture. Also have the option to have a guided tour throughout part of this monastery. I have to say that this tour is only offered in Spanish as of now. The visit includes visiting its very unique 11th century crypt, the Avatial Church, the Royal Vault, and if you're lucky, you'll also get to experience listening to the monks sing. You also have the possibility of staying a few nights in their hotel, although keep in mind that this is a different kind of lodging. Being a monastery, you have to abide by their rules and know that there is no Wi-Fi, all meals are included, but you have to be extremely sharp on your time at each meal and silence is almost of the essence. This is a great place if you're looking to make a spiritual retreat and disconnect for a few days. They also have a bar restaurant located right up front of the monastery, which opens from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day, and offers a good variety of tapas, sandwiches, and some substantial meals. Now let's explore El Castillo de Javier. If you're visiting El Monasterio de Leire, I highly recommend you stop by El Castillo de Javier as well. Since they're only 14 minutes away, El Castillo de Javier, or the Castle of Javier, is located in Javier in Navarra, Spain. This castle was the birthplace and childhood home of Saint Francis Xavier, or in Spanish, San Francisco Javier. As a side note, this castle also has a couple of hotels, bars, restaurants, a church, a souvenir store, a picnic area, public restrooms, and a large free parking area. And last but not least, a guided tour of the castle. Your options for the tours are to just do a walkthrough without any kind of guide for a few euros, or for a small extra charge, you can either have an audio guide or a guided tour, but the latter are mostly offered only in Spanish. With its impressive architecture from the outside and its rich historical contents on the inside, this is a must-visit place in the region of Navarra. The castle consists of three different buildings that were constructed in very different time periods, starting off with the San Miguel Tower, which is the oldest building of the castle and harbors a museum that takes you through San Francisco Javier's life and death. The second building is the Tower of Cristo Sandúa, which is a fortified building and chapel and this one has the Dance of Death murals that are very unique to Spain, plus a late gothic cross effects. And last but not least, you get an adjacent basilica which was built from 1897 to 1901. You may also have heard of the Javieradas, that take place during the month of March. If you don't, let me break them down. This is a pilgrimage in honor of St. Francis Xavier. 
Thousands of pilgrims from all over the world in Navarra reunite in the town of Javier and take a 50-kilometer journey to the castle. Well, that'll be all from us today. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section. As for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!